grabs the person who grabs the midsection, lifts the opponent off the floor and tips him. And you can use it, as you've just seen there, as a takedown. There we see Glenn Tobias, our super heavy All Styles champion. It's Adrian Thompson there on the ropes who's using just his head and upper body movement to avoid his straight left and right punches. This is a good way to give you confidence against an attacker. Here we see straights, uppercuts and hooks and the same type of movement done with rolling, shifting, slipping, movement of the head and shoulders to get away from these type of attacks. Okay, now this time okay, we'll see different variation of body movement against these punches that are coming to the midsection of the body to be able to shift away from your opponent move, turn and twist and avoid these type of punches. All this is part of ring craft training as well. As you see here on this tape, the champions all show you to perfection how it should be done. Moving on now, this time we'll see defense showing blocking movements with the arms. Against these punches, using your arms, using your elbows as defensive movements. Also again, you see there the slipping movements of the head and body. Important that when you're actually doing this type of training, obviously you keep your eyes on your opponent because if you take your eyes off, you lose concentration. This now okay, is showing defense against hook punching. Hooks to the body and hook punches to the face. Both using the arm, the forearm, and the elbow. Defense against straight punch. Right cross, defense against left uppercut, right uppercut, it's important that you can see both fighters are listening intently to the trainer, the master scan, for instruction, this is very important, in any sort of training that you've got somebody who can train you teach you to a high level and standard who can push you and show you how to do it properly. Why these champions are where they are today. Now you've just seen a defense against the spinning back fist and another form of defense which is just moving on to your opponent, pushing him off balance. This can be used as an attack or as a defense. Now we'll see block and counter. Glenn attacking there to Adrian. Glenn on your left, Adrian on your right there. Adrian is showing how to defend against the punch and countering with any sort of punch that you feel would work in this type of situation. Now we're going to move on to some boxing sparring. Phil, Philip Nesta and Oliver to show some routine movements of sparring. When you do sparring, remember these are not program movements. This is just where you're putting all your techniques together, showing straight, left and right, uppercuts, hooks, back fist, flying punch, whatever combinations that you want to put together. You see when the champions spar, everything goes. Hands and feet are also working in unison. Breathing is important too. If you don't breathe in this type of sparring, you're just going to get too tired to continue. Continuously throughout the sparring, you'll hear your trainer, or in this case, Master Scan coaching the student what to use 
working on weaknesses or strengths of each fighter to bring out the maximum and the best of each person. At the end of this tape, I'll give you a telephone number and address that you can send to for more information on Thai boxing. If you're interested in starting a club, there's clubs all over the country. England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, even different parts of the world. The non-stop movements here, you can see, obviously done. As I said, you've got to breathe. You can hear the breathing. You can see the movements. If you're just starting off in Thai boxing, Obviously, this will look a pretty daunting to start with, but remember, you've got to start somewhere. And these are champions that you're watching, a totally different level than a beginner or an intermediate. So you're going to see the best of the best here today. Moving on here to Thai style sparring, using hands and legs, knees and elbows. Sparring in a ring, which is the ideal situation. Just a little bit about Master Scan while you're seeing these two excellent technicians here in the ring. Master Scan, who is training all of these champions, has been doing Thai boxing over 25 years now and obviously has attained a very high level of standard of Muay Thai, of training, teaching, and working with people to pass on this knowledge. He helped establish Thai boxing in this country at the back end of 1976 and is still today fast becoming one of the most exciting, powerful martial arts of today, here in the 1990s. Different aspects of the clinch work here, using knees and elbows, close range. Fast, multiple kicking, spinning kicks, roundhouse kicks, front kicks, side kicks, back kicks, you name it. Muay Thai has them all. Plus the added use of boxing, just the same as the professional boxers use. Elbows, which are awesome in a closing situation. Knee techniques, which obviously in the ring or even in the street, prove to be very deadly. Master Scan there, on the right of the screen, you can see, using the stopwatch, timing the fighters all the time using the stopwatch. And coming at the end of a round, as with skipping or any sort of exercise, running, you try to speed up and fight through the pain barrier. Excellent techniques here on this sparring. Seeing the full use of Muay Thai. 